Hey guys, how you doing? Today we are going to be putting vent covers on the CA Corvette. I've seen vent covers all the way from $70 all the way up to $700 for like these black weave ones. We are going to be going to Home Depot. I am thinking this is going to cost less than $20. Bucks. So anybody is able to do this, I'm not getting a jack to lift up the car. I'm just using simple hand tools. You guys are gonna love this. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm looking at this. This is a masonry mesh. I think this will work. I'll give it, I'll get one and give it a shot. Yeah, and it's not very expensive, so. Okay guys, so the material for what we need is super easy. What we have here is some scissors to cut the zip ties, needle nose pliers to pull some of the zip ties through to make it a little easier. We got a little wrench, a one fourth uh, socket, and that is to house teen star bit that I have. And it actually just goes right in there like that. But a seven millimeter socket for this little um, nut bolt thing that we got there. The metal shears, the actual lath from Home Depot. A whole giant roll of it, which could do probably three or four Corvettes. It was only $12.99 or something like that, so that's a really good price. Also guys, we're using zip ties. The ones we're using are way smaller than this. I also use the screwdriver. Those were all the tools right there. Okay guys, so what I did here was I got a piece of foam board, really thin, it's like an under laminate for flooring, you can use a piece of cardboard. I, mean, I got that and I stuck it under the C8 Corvette to see what would fit. Let's get that and we'll stick it under there and see. Okay guys, so what I did was I made this template here and I stuck it in here. I had to cut it a few times to make sure it would fit. You could do it with cardboard. So I just made it to covers all the stuff that I want to hide. It's easy to make a template and just stick it in there and just trace around where you need to connect all the dots. So here what I did was we stuck it down on to the piece. I got it up against the side here so I don't have to cut that. And then against the back here, I'm gonna have it up against like so. And then I'll just have to cut the corner there and then just come around here with the tin snips. So what I do is I just literally trace around, just lightly run it across. It's hard to see, but you actually can see a, a line there. So this actually kind of curves around here. There it is. Just want to be a little careful because these are sharp. But yeah, there's our first piece right there. And then just replicate it and do it again on the next piece. It's actually pretty simple. Since you already have the template, you can just make as many as you want. Okay guys, so if you can't see, I cut a lot of the little mix off to try and get it as nice and as smooth as possible so that when you put it in, it doesn't get stuck on anything too much. And I have a little extra, like half an inch all the way around just so that um, it'll fit better. Cause this, I mean, you barely even touch it and you'll put little dings and dents in it. But you probably want to reach in here and grab it and kind of guide it a little. Move up little by little. In there. Now I didn't want to go black because I didn't want this to look all blacked out. That's just my style, my preference. You know, you could do that if you want. And we're just going to get some zip ties like everybody else has done in this. And zip tie, I'm assuming I'm probably going to go here, up here, probably over here, here, and then maybe one in the center here. I'll do a few more. Man, look at how many. I mean, this side is just, I don't know what's going on over here, but this is ridiculous over here. That's pretty crazy, guys.
just like I said, when you're guiding it in, make sure you're not getting stuck on the radiator so you're not scratching those even worse. Not like you're gonna see them as much, but you still will kind of see it with this. Just take your time, don't be in a big rush. Kind of just stuck on a little thing on the bottom here. There. Okay. There, we got that one. So we'll strap that in and get that going. You know, I think I am actually gonna put some stuff there. I wasn't planning on it. I couldn't see it before without the light. You can see where some rocks kind of come in and come over here and hit that. So I guess I, I think I am gonna put a piece that goes across here, which I didn't plan on doing. So let's get that next. Okay, this is what you wanna translate to for the cardboard or whatever piece of whatever you put in there. So that's nice and flush all the way around. We got it templated. We'll uh, put it in. This is what it actually looks like. It's much smaller. I'll put that into the grid over there and see what we get. Okay guys, we got this cut really quick. I cut the burrs off so it doesn't get stuck. Contouring this a little so it's, because it did have some bends in it. That way it just goes in nice and easy. I'm trying not to scratch the plastic there, but I guess it doesn't really matter because rocks would scratch it anyway. slides like that I and mean, look at that that just goes in super easy bend the tips just slightly so you can get it through it's just a lot easier to work it back there when that's bent I didn't account for that. That's kind of blocking those, which kind of sucks. This latch here blocks um, part of this vent so it doesn't come in as much as it should. For future reference, that might be a thing to kind of cut out of the way. Okay, these aren't dikes, but they can get in there really good. So let's see. I think we'll be able to bring that in a little. That's a little better. There we go, a little nicer. Brought it in a little closer so it doesn't look like all pushed in and stuff. Onward and forward. There we go, another one done. We just get the screwdriver ever so delicately, again, back out of the way. Boom. This bottom corner, this should be a piece of cake again. We are bending this just makes it so much easier. The needle nose pliers to just be able to get that in there without putting your wrist under there and scraping the wrist. Also putting it on in a way to where you can actually pull it this direction to tighten it instead of putting it and installing it so that you have to pull it down or this way or the opposite way. Flipping it around this way so you can pull it outward makes it a lot easier to get it a nice tight here. Also when the time comes to snip and push it's just a little more meat to push in the back there. There we go. And that's on there, guys. That's 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 tight. Yeah, so what would be perfect is if you have those needle nose pliers that kind of come up and have a little bend, that would make this so much easier. Out of the way. Doggo in the way. Abby, you're in the way, dog. Come on, back, back, back. Come here, come here, come here. You're in the way. Jeez. Back behind. That one went good. That one went all the way back behind. Okay, guys, we're finally done. So I'm gonna put it all back together. We're gonna take it outside and we're gonna see how it looks. take a look at them they actually look pretty cool I didn't want like the black because I feel like it would hide that already kind of octagonal shape that it has so I went with the same color as the radiator which just so happened to be the probably the cheapest one at Home Depot which is great but I think it turned out great like take a look at this man you can barely see that one that one's at the bottom and it's pretty covered I love being able to still see the black octagon shapes that were intended there and not without having to see the radiator so it blocks the radiator out enough to where you don't really um, see it that much at all. Overall, love the look. I'm glad I went with this instead of the darker color. 
And you know, for some people, the darker color may be the thing, but for me, it's not. I just wanted to kind of keep that silver accent look that it has, and you cannot see the zip ties. It's doing its job. You cannot see them at all. There's just too much going on. And you just emphasize that really cool look that it was supposed to originally have, you know? So I couldn't be happier with the look. Absolutely love it. And I'm actually glad I went and fixed that because even though it didn't look like there was some dents on the radiator over there, uh, there actually was when I shined the light on it. So that does get damaged through there. So I ended up having to do that. It is what it is. It just looks cleaner and looks way more high end even though it was a cheap piece of metal that I put in there, it is night and day different. It just looks finished. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. It is freezing here, but I had a great time doing this. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe, and see you guys in the next one. Okay?